Hi there, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and here is my algo trading for January 2022. So a lot of people ask me, hey, what do your algo strategy equity curves look like? You know, as people do back tests and try to find something that works in the market, they create equity curves. And a lot of times they don't know if they're good, bad, whatever. And I thought what I'd do here is show you some of the equity curves of systems I'm actually trading live so you get a feel for what I do and what some of my algos look like. So here's a sample of 12 different equity curves that I'm currently trading. I should point out that all of these strategies are automated and they're all algo strategies. There's no discretion in any of them. So the results you see are 100% rule based. And all these strategies were developed with my trademarked strategy factory process. So I think that's important. And finally, the results I show here and the equity curves I show are without position sizing. And usually it's only a single contract shown on these charts. But there's definitely no increase in size as you go along the equity curve. Okay, so. Before I get into it, these are just a sample of the 39 strategies I'm currently trading live right now. So these are, will be ones I'll be trading in January 2022. And built in to the equity curve is uh, an amount for slippage and an amount for commissions. So those are proper amounts. They're different for every market, but it's important to have those in there. And in the curves you're gonna see, the area in white is the walk forward out of sample test. So this would be the resulting equity curve when you develop the strategy. And when that turns to light blue, everything in the light blue is considered real time results. So the way to think about this is you develop a strategy you end development right at the start of the blue, then you start watching the strategy live and see how it performs. So obviously the blue area is the real key. You want to see good performance in the blue, but you also want to see good performance in the walk forward in the white area. That's your development phase. And that walk forward, because of the method of doing it, that is actually out of sample data. It's not optimized in sample. And if some of these terms are confusing, take a look at some of my other videos. They'll kind of explain it for you. I'll walk you through each one of these curves. I'll show them for a few seconds and you can see them. So let's get started. Number three, number four, number five. Six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11, and number 12. Now, 
when you look at those as a whole, there's a couple things you should probably notice. One, all these strategies have drawdown and they have flat periods and they have periods where they don't do so good. They are not straight line equity curves because those are frankly a fantasy for the most part. Almost all ELGO strategies are going to have drawdowns, sometimes significant. You saw at least one system there that had a huge drawdown. That was during the start of COVID in 2020. But strategies have drawdowns. Now, some of these, you notice, seem to be in the market all the time where the equity curve is always changing. And some seem to be flat for long periods of time. So they're rarely in the market. So they wait for an opportunity and then they jump in. Other ones are either long or short pretty much all the time. So there's a mix of different strategies in there. And like I said, the strategies are far from perfect. And unfortunately, most people think that when they build a back test and build an algo strategy, it's got to be perfect. And that's just not true. So you might be saying, hey, Kevin, this isn't that great back test. You know, these back tests aren't that good. I could do a lot better. And I'd agree with you. You can always make the back test. And that's the area in the white. You can always make that better. But that's not the goal. And that's what you have to keep in mind is the real goal is that performance in the blue sections. And you saw in a lot of those strategies that blue performance was pretty good. It all comes down to risk adjusted performance in real time. That's your real goal. And unfortunately, when you're building an algo, you can't really tell what the risk adjusted performance in real time is because you don't have that future data. And that's what makes it tricky. Okay. So those are some of the strategies. What does it look like portfolio wise? And, and you know, what are some of the, the things I look at? Well, here it is for the 39 that I'm trading this month, broken down by sector. And you can see they're more or less the same percentages. Uh, the softs and eggs are a little bit higher. Uh, and the reason I do that is because a lot of times the eggs and softs are uncorrelated. You know, you have things like cotton, which might not be correlated with soybeans and that type of thing. So you can trade more of those strategies. Uh, you can also see that the currencies are a little light. Uh, for whatever reason right now, currency strategies just aren't working as good. So it's harder to find ones that are good. But, you know, the, the other ones, the interest rates, metals, stock indices are all around the same. And then energies is a little more weighted and then when you look at bar size about half of my bars are daily bars and then the other 50 percent is split from anywhere from like 60 minute to 360 or, or above and uh you kind of get an idea of where things are with that. And actually what, what you don't see, the 61 to 120 also includes ones that are below 60 minutes. So it's some of those smaller buyer sizes, like five minutes, that kind of thing. Now, when I put this all together to create a portfolio, I use an approach I teach in my Platinum Strategy Factory Workshop, where what it tries to do is it tries to trade only the best of best strategies. Uh, you know, the strategies that are currently working good. So those 39 are out of a group of maybe a hundred strategies. And I try to pick the ones that are working good, that are uncorrelated as much as they can be with each other. And that's kind of why I do the different sectors and things like that. And that helps with the diversification because if you have some softs, some energy, some metals, you do get some diversification from that. And that's really one of the keys to succeeding with this. 
I also adjust the strategies monthly. So if I get some positive reaction to this video, I'll actually do it pretty much every month and uh, maybe put in a little tidbits here and there of what I'm doing. One final note, these are just the strategies I'm trading now. I may make adjustments mid-month and please don't take anything I've said as far as what sectors I'm in as a suggestion of what works. Don't think just because I'm weighted in energies that you should be trading energies in January. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. You need to develop your own strategies and build your own portfolio. And of course I can help you with that, but don't take what I've given you and just use it without thinking. So that's important. Okay, so please give it a thumbs up if you like it, leave a comment, and please subscribe. That'll keep me making more videos. That's the only feedback I get that this was actually useful to you. If it's not useful, I probably won't do it again. All right, that wraps up this video. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Have a great day.